Hello, I'm Todd Tracy, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Seabotchen versus John Eagle Collision Center case that will be tried on September 25th, 2017 in Dallas, Texas. But more importantly than that, I want to talk to you about the service repair industry in general. If you have had your vehicle repaired, even at a billion dollar dealership like John Eagle Collision Center, you need to start asking yourself this question. Did the facility that I took my vehicle to, did they follow the OEM manufacturer specifications? Because if they didn't, you're driving around in a time bomb that's waiting to explode. What do I mean by that? The vehicle manufacturers provide very specific and detailed instructions to, to repair shops on how to properly repair vehicles. The reason the manufacturers do this is because they want those repair shops to bring the vehicle back to its original safety condition so that the vehicle will be crashworthy and safe in the event of an accident. However, when body shops cut corners, when they put their interest over yours, when they let the insurance companies dictate who knows more, that's when the time bomb is set and that's when the detonation device is released. And guess what? You're not going to know that you're sitting on a time bomb waiting to explode until you or one of your family members is involved in an accident. And when it happens, catastrophe follows. Let me tell you what's a recipe for disaster. And that's a body shop that cares more about making money or cares more about making its insurance company's clients happy rather than making your vehicle safe. It's time for us to stand up and say enough is enough. The insurance industry needs to do what they do best and that is take in our premiums and pay off insurance claims. We need to get them out of the vehicle repair industry because guess what? The vehicle manufacturers and the vehicle repair shops know a hell of a lot more than anybody than the insurance company will ever know because the insurance company care about one thing and that's putting money in their pocket